I don't know about you, but I'm pretty tired of seeing Porsche Macans tootling around the city. I mean, is there anything more cliched than seeing a Porsche SUV pounding pavement? All of which makes me want to try something entirely different. Splitting from the city and getting away from it all. So you think a Macan can't off-road? To prove my point that these trucks aren't just glorified city slickers, let's go straight to the source. So what does Porsche say about Macan's off-road system? Off-road mode comes standard in the Macan and the function is activated by pressing a button in the center console at the speed of between 0 and 50 miles per hour. This function switches all the relevant systems to a traction-oriented off-road program. The ground clearance can be increased by 1.58 inches above its normal level thanks to the optional air suspension chassis, which gives a maximum ground clearance of 9.06 inches. Hmm, interesting. Hi. So what did you say when I had this idea for off-roading the Macan? I said you were crazy. Yeah, because? Because it seems just a really unlikely car to be capable off-road. Because it's a Porsche? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I thought it'd be kind of cool to take it on a trail and see what happens. And I called them up and said, would it be okay if I took the Macan on a trail? A little light off-roading. They said, yeah, within reason. Just, you know, you're on summer tires. Don't forget that. Now, tell me what you said again about airplane turbulence. Oh, I don't mind airplane turbulence. <laughs> Some people get disoriented and concerned about bouncing around at 30,000 feet, but she finds it relaxing. Now, jouncing in a car. No. 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 Welcome to my life. Okay, let's see what this thing can do. You know, this car is gonna be handed to any number of other journalists to test. And you always run the risk of damaging vehicles when you do stuff like this. Even more important to my purposes here, you risk damaging relationships with your wife, who is so patient with my shenanigans. <laughs> no! It's not that bad, honey. No! Trust me, no. you gotta, you gotta you, no. you gotta trust me. We're not going up there literally just started. It could get better. It could maybe get worse too. We're gonna find out. I've noticed that in off-road mode, it is quite a bit stiffer than in regular mode, and that's because the air suspension is really taut. There's a high amount of air pressure in there, lifting the car up. Um, you don't necessarily get the most travel, suspension travel, ironically, in that setting, but you do get the clearance and we do need the clearance on this road because look at these ruts. These ruts are pretty major. My goal today, in addition to not meeting somebody on the wrong end of an apex, we do want to make it back. I have very simple goals. This feels quite a bit more jostly than it does on the road. No way. Um, no, this is not jostly. <laughs> the suspension, the way the suspension is handling these bumps. Whoa, no, 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 no. No, we're good, we're good. This is, we're not going that fast, honey. It was like carcasses of automobiles. <laughs> you know what I've learned in my limited off-roading experience? Oh, that's a, this is a time to admit that. <laughs> Let's talk about your limited off-roading I'm not going to brag and right pretend now. like I'm a big off-roading guy. But what I've learned is that the more you go into it, the more you get into it, the more relaxed you become. You know, it becomes okay. a little bit normal to be on this kind of trail. Are you, are you getting there a little bit? No, no? I'm not. No. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's incredibly capable. I'm astounded, but would you buy this car to go off-roading? Would you be that guy? I don't think anybody is that guy, but I am actually kind of, I think it's kind of cool that Porsche made an off-road capable crossover because it could have been very easy for them to just make a sports car on stilts, which this kind of is, but not really give it the off-road capability to clear some of this stuff off-road button does make a big difference in terms of how it relates to the road. 
Well, I don't think you could have gotten over these bumps no. without that extra travel. No, absolutely not. Okay, is it getting a little bit more relaxing for you? Is it a little bit more like that beautiful airplane look, turbulence that you love? Does this look relaxing? There's nothing relaxing about this. Look at this, we're surrounded by nature. This is gorgeous. Another button in the center console activates downhill assistance from the Porsche Hill Control PHC system. The PHC keeps the vehicle's speed constant during descents and can be adjusted between 2 and 18 miles per hour. The hill descent control is a huge help on grades like this. It really helps manage the vehicle speed on its own so that you can just kind of freeze your mind a little bit to not worry about that. Cruise control for off-road. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I like it. So nearly nine inches of clearance is actually quite good, but I'm getting the sense from you that this is not your preferred method of off-roading. I feel like we're really low to the road and I'm totally impressed by the capabilities of this car, but it is and has not been at any point relaxing. <laughs> so my optimism has failed me again, is what you're saying. You know what would have been relaxing? What would have been relaxing? If you dropped me off at the top. <laughs> Good luck with that. Married the wrong guy. I will agree with you on the fact that when you're off-road, being this close to the road, it's a little bit weird. I actually feel like I am the road. I am just every lump and bump and crevice. I don't have any removal from it. I don't have any vantage point. Now, if you go over 50 miles an hour, you lose that. Um, off-road setting on the suspension, that would not be good. But I don't think we're gonna quite hit 50 on this road. Hang in there. We're getting there. This road will end at some point, sooner or later. Right. You have earned yourself some paved road. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> Guys, if you like what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.